Get your feet down. No, the game. Do you remember where we were? No. Uh, put, remind me a little bit. Kind of. But remind me a little. Okay. So the secret of Monkey Island was in a safe at the voodoo shop, and I was looking for the five golden keys that would open it. I had managed to find two keys and was working on the other three. I was well on my way to becoming Queen of Bermuda. Well, I wasn't sure where LeChuck or Captain Madison were. Queen! I was sure they were up to something. The voodoo lady had gone missing. Wally too. Elaine was on Scurvy Island, working on stuff for the Marley Foundation. There was a lot to think about, but I was keeping my to-do list up to date, and the main thing was finding those golden keys. Oh, where's this? Oh, this is shopping. Let's have a look at the to-do list then. Triangle. Yeah. Sit on the We've got to win these contests on my intelligence. Contest of strengthness. Seriousness, that one. We already, we already won that one. Does that, that mean you don't laugh? Well, yeah, that's, yeah. You laugh at you. You lost and we won that one, didn't we? Because we told her a joke from that joke book. I think let's go to the lady with the keys, because I think we've got a book that she Daddy, she's want. gone. No, the lady with the key who makes the keys. What books have we got? Oh, we've not got any. Um, let's get on here then. Hi there. Hi there. Her mum liked. At the end of the plank. My mother's. Please don't touch it. Let's, okay, let's go and see if we can get another copy of that one. <laughs> the end, of the, end of the plank. I have to return the book I borrowed first. Which book have we Oh, is it, um... Watson's what's, what's got the book, hasn't he? Oh, yeah, what? Uh, yeah, what? Not what's it. <laughs> not it. You know the guy on here? The ghost. The ghost Ren. Oh yeah, he's got. And that's his name, Apple Bob. Finish the new book yet? Finish the new book yet? No. As far as I can tell, it has no end. It's fantastic. Hang in there, Bob. Still not funny. No ending. I think it's out of juice. I'll give it. Hey Bob, I've got a great book for you. It's Gullet's Poetry. Unpublished. You can get a sneak peek. There is nothing about Gullet that I want a sneak peek of. <laughs> so he does it, he would have something though. I want to chuck the diary maybe. Hey Bob, I've got a great book for you. It's LeChuck's personal diary. Yikes! I wouldn't want to be caught with that. And you shouldn't either. Oh, yeah. Well, I was going to to read. Oh, that was. No, it won't work. Maybe that book will help him.
I think it's just a sculpture. I hope oh, it's just no, a sculpture. No, 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 no. This is a bunch of empty containers of preservatives and coloring agents. Oh, no. I don't know if we can... How does he smell that? How does he smell that? How does he smell that loud? <laughs> Daddy, I, pl I plug my ears and I could still hear him. Really? Yeah. Have a go, Daddy. Daddy, have a go. With two. Oh, well, yeah, it's so there, man. Things get more sophisticated every year. Uh, I'm gonna come wake him up. I guess it's a good sign if they're not trying to leave. It's kind of soothing in a weird way. Is that monster ball? I don't know. No. Can't put anything in that cauldron. You know. Yeah. What about that? Try a key. Anything more? Hmm. Yeah, still can't we? We can't get the book back off in there until we, we get something else to. It's a little dirty, but still one of the most beautiful keys I've ever seen. Daddy, did you know that? I mean, it was amazing how it led us out the key. I know, yeah, it was, but we didn't know, did we? Had to... This is a bunch of empty containers of monkey blood and squid. Why X, Y, Z, Z, Y? Is that the one? Yeah. Why X, Y, Z, Z, Y? Oh, we didn't win that one. It's loud about every 15 seconds. Like my, like my uncle Ernie. Ernie. <laughs> yeah, I'll do. Let's try again. I will return in 20, in 20 seconds, seconds to grade your papers. papers. Your, time your time starts, starts now. now. Can I try this? Me? Oh, oh look, we have to swap and she's not looking. Oh, we've got papers. 
going to say that before. Time's up. I'll take your pay. Hmm. I am most surprised by this, but the evidence is clear. Mr. Threepwood is the winner. Yay. How is that possible? Clean living, regular exercise, and a brain the Dense, motionless, and shaped by a red. Oh, yeah, we did it. You can see can the difficulty I'm having. I can. Better luck next time. Why? Yeah, we won that one. Only one more contest to go. I can't. Okay, yeah, let me check out to do this. I've done that one now. Heartiness. Oh, man. What was that, what was that one? Heartiness. Oh, Heartiness. Okay. Oh. Mm. See what happens. It must have blown away. What am I going to do? What happened? I can't, can't stand back here after that argument. <sighs> if only I'd made copies right away. What was I thinking? Now I'm right back where I started. Excuse me. Oh, I can never see it. We can go in everywhere. Sorry. What can I do for you, gentlemen? We'd like to purchase some razor bombs. We're running low, and we want to prevent hair loss and trim excess belly fat. You, you... Wait a minute. Where did you hear that name? We read a flyer. We heard supplies were limited. The flyer. That's my mock-up. My one-of-a-kind, impossible-to-replace, project-saving flyer. Do you have it? Please tell me you have it. Ah, sorry. It, uh, fell into the sea. Fell into? <laughs> like it wasn't your fault. Well, it wasn't my fault. It was yours. Wait, I know. You could ask the nice blonde pirate for a flyer. Blonde pirate? But he's the one who gave it to us. Oh, he sails around in the weirdest-looking little ship. Weird looking little shit. He's not blonde. Oh, what, do, what do you reckon we have to do to win this one, do you think? Because obviously we've got to spice it. I've got an idea. i got an idea, Teddy. Yeah? Oh, no. Ghost, you can see the ghost again. The only thing you can mix it with is that. Oh, unless... I've got an idea. Unless we can spice hers and not ours. Today's challenge fish is... Yeah, yeah but he's... He's looking. And everyone else minute. is looking. The bucket of plenty contains oh, no plenty. There are no fish here whatsoever. And the contest cannot be held without fish. Everyone go home. Oh, I forgot to put it in the bucket. Oh, it's giant. <laughs> put it in the bucket. Put that in the bucket. If you would each now select your first fish and place it on the plate in front of you. There is no talking to the judge during challenges. Mr. Threepwood, we await your selection of fish. Oh, she's picked it. Mr. Threepwood, we await your selection of fish. Ah, you are attempting to sabotage the fish with an unknown ingredient. The contest is over. <gasps> oh, we saw. We got told off. Well, I think we did that last time. I can't remember what happened there. Oh, uh, we both got spiced. Yeah, the queen and us both got spiced. No, it's spicy. It's a smash and meet the ball. <laughs> yes, it's a smash and meet the ball. It is a smash and meet the ball. Let's just see what happens. Just so we know, might know a bit more. 
If you reach it now, select your first fish and place it on the plate in front of you. There is no talking to the judge during challenges. It's my official contest of hardiness plate. Please take a fish and put it on your plate. And now... This may be a bit spicy. Maybe we need to... <laughs> well, it seems that your contestants are having some fun. I declare this contest a draw. Contestants may now seek medical attention if they so decide. I wonder if we have to drink something before we do that. Make us not. We give the actually, let's give the ingredients to that chef guy. Let's see if he can do anything with it. Well, let's see. Chef guy. Who's in there? In the hand. No! Oh, melted! What was that bit? There they go. Oh, look! Melted this. Oh, missing ice sculpture. Who's the idiot who placed a torch next to an ice sculpture? Oh, that was us. Oopsie. Oh, Who's the idiot who placed a torch next to an ice sculpture? It's too high. It's too high. It's way too high to reach. I know how he can reach. Because he can just get a ladder. Corny. Filling up with castle. Oh, wash off the pepper. I don't think that'll help. The pepper is soaked into the fish. <laughs> At the end of the plank. My only copy. Please don't touch it. Your Majesty. Thank you for the audience. I'll take my leave. Very well. You may go. I wonder how we're going to defeat that. I wonder how we're going to do that one. Talk to them. Runt. Runt. Yeah. I don't know what you're talking about. I see. Love you. You too.
pirates used to have to steal this from Elaine to prove themselves. Rosie's finished with the book. Yeah, well, we need to we need to give him another book before. Uh, we could before. borrow another book. Yeah, yeah, Win that contest, don't we? I think that's the key. Uh, win the contest of healthness. No. We've got to get some food. Oh, we're going to find that chef, weren't we? I wonder where he's gone. Uh, he's right on Melee Island. Oh, was he? He's not there. Oh, yeah, that's it. Let's talk to the skull. Don't get any funny ideas while I'm away from the ship. No problem. I'll pretend I'm one of the right ones. <laughs> oh, Tindy. Oh, don't you look! Oh, he's disappearing! Any information leading to the arrest and conviction of the person or persons who destroyed the historic mop tree. Ooh, nice upgrade for eating al fresco. You should probably put out the rest of these flames. Thanks, I'll do that. <laughs> Thanks, I'll do that. Finding a secret of Monkey Island. I'm not any closer to caring about it. Hi. Hey, boy. Remind me again what you know about where the golden keys might be? Well, the mean little ghost lady got mine. Mrs. Smith had one. Uh, I guess she'll have willed it to someone in her estate. There's the one Bella Fisher had. Must be at the bottom of the ocean now. One somewhere on Bermuda. And one on Terror Island. Not much chance to collect them all, so it seems. See you around, Whitey. Most likely. We still have managed to get into here, haven't we? Oh, I can do it. seems to be stuck closed. I don't see anything useful here. I'm no good at Jimmy and things. This is where I risked my neck. Hey, Guy Bush! So he can. It's dead in there, isn't it? Total Otis. 
Boom. Is it still my night time? I'd like you to tell the museum creator about that jailbreak all those years ago. I'd like you to tell the museum curator about our jailbreak all those years ago. The one with the mugs of grog. He doesn't seem to have the story quite right. Of course, the truth is important. When I am free again, I will pay him a visit. Well, I don't see that happening anytime soon. Are you worried the rest of the building okay then? Yes. You think you could spring me again? Ugh, I doubt it. It looks like something happened to the serial number on this lock. Oh, I just heard that. What did you do to get arrested this time? Nothing! I was just standing there minding my own business, applying for earthquake relief. Did you know you're only allowed to do that once? There is no justice. Any writing that was once here has been rubbed away. Where did you say Stan is? They took him to the ice quarry on Bermuda. Let's visit again soon. Have your people call my people. It says jail rules. One, no escaping. Two, no earthquakes. It's been reduced to rubble. This key doesn't fit. This key doesn't fit. Hi there. Hiya. Hello again. Can I get another key made? Sure. Just write down a serial number and give it to me. Serial number. I'm working due west of camp and due north of the lake today. Grinder? Seriously, I don't much care if you grind off a finger. But I don't want to have to clean up afterwards. How much for the fishing rod? It's not for sale. This is a locksmith shop. Perhaps you saw the sign outside? There is no sign. I see everyone in that portrait has lovely locks. If you have to make a pun, at least make a good one. Handsome looking parrot. And also vicious. But it was my mother's favorite. Daddy. No, no, Five keys. One, two, three, four, five. You will be mine, golden keys. <laughs> so we have to buy. Do I owe you anything at the moment? Thank you for noticing. This should cover it. Thanks. It's the Cod's Wallop. Hello. Can I borrow this book? No, I haven't read it yet. Me either. It definitely moved.
That's an amazing trophy you have there. Aye, that's a combination trophy and fly swatter. In case we ever get an insect infestation. Are you in here? I see. Uh, tell me again about Bella Fisher's fishing spot. Tell me again about Bella Fisher's fishing spot. They say she left behind a clue as to where it was, but no one knows what sort of clue that it be. All rumors, of course, probably nothing to it. Uh, Can they come and do that burping contest? <laughs> I think I'll browse today's catch. You'll find none better. Hmm. Oh, I'm hunting for the secret of Monkey Island. The secret? What a prize! I know! They say the pirate who holds the secret can never be sunk. That the wind always fills his sails. In the old days, we might have gone after it ourselves. But we've got new fish to fry, so to speak. Can I trade in my fish for some other ones? Talk to the grizzly gentleman at the counter about that, please. Yeah, it's my shift. Let me go and do that moving hmm. Ah, just thinking about not imagining it is making me imagine it. Let me go and do that moving contest. That's an interesting mountain method. Caught that one trying to escape. Flounders sure are funny looking fish. You say that now, but wait till you're alone and sink him in a fierce northern squall. Battle him to land the beastie in time to use him to patch the hole in your boat. Die that moved. What are these lobby guys? Toadfish. Surprisingly, no relation to actual toads. Daddy. What are these pointy parts? Slime heads. Some folks like to cut off the pointy parts before eating, but that's a personal choice. Ah, just thinking about not imagining it is making me imagine it. These are tremendous. What are they? We don't actually know. Found them at the bottom of the ship. How much for the goldfish? Sushi's a pet. She's not for sale at any price. She's property of the chums. Shh. With the who? No one. It's too late. The bait's out of the bag. We might as well tell him. The chums is by way of being a semi-secret society of anglers. Mostly we tell stories. Aye, stories about fish. Can I, join the chums? Can I join the chums? I feel as though I should warn you that, this being the more casual mode of the game, participation in the chums is strictly for fun. There'll be no reward whatsoever for doing it successfully. Totally useless activity. Got it. Can I join anyway? Well... I promise to keep it semi-secret. I promise to keep it semi-secret. Have you got any good fish stories? Yeah. One time, I was swallowed by a manatee. No one knows what a manatee is. Trust me, make it a whale. It'll be better. Okay. Take this fishing lure. Other chums will have these too, on their clothes or displayed somewhere. Go out and find them. Show them your lure and tell them your story. They'll give you advice. Learn all you can. Then come back here and tell us your story again. You could start with that young pirate that hangs around at the scum bar. Don't tell him where to start. He's supposed to look for the lures. Oh, we know where to Modern That lady had one. Ah, that's, that's good. That's... The lady had one in here, didn't she? Hi there. She had one on display, love. So if we tell her the story... Oh, 
Greetings, fellow chum. Greetings, fellow chum. Have you a story to share? One time. My ship was swallowed by a mutt and a really, really big one. Or should we say whale? My ship was swallowed by a whale. Yeah. My ship was swallowed by a whale. <laughs> but then what? A key point of every fish story is a dramatic ending. Did you land the fish? Did it get away? Does someone get married or killed or both? People want to know how things turn out. Oh, that makes sense. Want to give it a try? Okay, one time. Uh, my ship was swallowed by a whale. My ship was swallowed by a whale. Um, and then it escaped with the digestive system, ship and all. And Morgan knocked me out and sold me. We stuck a hook in the beastie's mouth and caught it from the inside. I think you've got a lock on it. I can tell it's early in your training. Find some other members of the chums, and they'll help you hone your skills. Okay. Greetings, fellow chum. Greetings, fellow chum. Have you a story to share? One time. Because we've got that, we've got our fish in law now. We're in a secret society called the Chums. We have to make up this story. We said my ship my was ship followed was by a whale. By a whale. <laughs> We stuck a hook in the beastie's mouth and caught it from the inside. Listen, let me tell you something about anglers. By which you mean people who fish. Right, but if you are one, you'd say angler. I would? Every subculture has its own special language. Words with significance specific to that subculture. When you use them, you convey both meaning and membership. That sounds good. That's why authentic sounding fish stories always have plenty of angler lingo. For example, I wouldn't tell people a big fish broke my string. I'd say, I was jigging with a hard bait when a strike from a lunker snapped my leader. That's both highly specific and difficult to understand. Exactly the point. Want to give it a try? Okay, one time. My ship was swallowed by a huge lunker of a whale. A real chum-chomping linebreaker, if ever there was one. Then we stuck an umbrella jig head in the beastie's mouth and reeled it in from the inside. Yeah, that's the way. You almost sound like a real angler. I have given you my best tip. See if you can get some other chums to do the same. I'll do that.
This is a bunch of empty containers of preservatives and coloring agents. I wouldn't want to wake him up. better than half off. Somehow I don't think he's doing Hey, guy brush. How long do you plan to wait here? As long as it takes. Hey! I don't really have anything to say. I just like doing this. Practice is nice, but I'm busy these days. Governor stuff. I think it's out of juice. show this to other people who have them to start a storytelling session. It's the soon-to-be former queen. I loaded them with demon pepper.
When I get back inside, I want to admire the sculptures. Maybe take home a few souvenirs? Nope. We're on lockdown. Why? Well, don't tell anyone, but there was an E-S-C-A-B-E. All the prisoners are gone. We don't know how it happened, but it's under investigation. Good luck with that. 